Hello fellow vendors, Extreme Vending here with a repaired video on my larger claw machine. I've been asked down in the comments below uh, several times, what do I do when a machine has malfunctioned or something bad has happened? And in this case, we had a bad power supply with this newer machine. Well, fortunately, we have a warranty on this machine and my supplier was kind enough, I contacted them of course, and explained to them that I had a bad power supply, I sent them a picture, and of course they sent me a replacement. I didn't have to pay for shipping, I didn't have to pay for the product, the new power supply, it was all for, uh, part of the warranty so they sent it to me for free. So for those who are wondering like when you uh, have a bad power supply, are you going to at least pay for the shipping? No you do not, they give it to you. All right, so I just wanted you guys to know that so when you're ordering these machines in the future, you don't have to worry about a uh, faulty part and having to pay for additional costs outgoing towards shipping. So uh, we got the power supply, brand new in the package, and we're gonna open this up and we're gonna do a repair video and show you how simple it is to really replace one of these power supplies because it's honestly not too hard. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So what we're gonna use is a Phillips tip on my drill and as you can see uh, what I really like about the large claw machines is easy access I can pull out uh, this board right here which holds on to the power supply and the motherboard um, as you can see I do not have the motherboard in right now I uh, was testing out the parts like I said I wanted to make sure that I tested everything before I contacted my supplier and I made sure that the motherboard was working uh, in case I needed a motherboard too. So I pulled it out and I kind of switched it to another machine and uh, it does work. So we are going to just quickly install this motherboard. As you can see, there are four screws that go right here. So it's really simple. So we screw down the four corners and now all we have to do on the motherboard is hook up all the components that needs to be hooked up. So there the black piece goes into here. Make sure both sides snap in. And this will go into that little two prong spot. And then this cord right here, as soon as I get a better hold, this goes all the way up into the claw, up into the machine up there. This will be the brain for the claw, it communicates. And we're gonna go ahead and plug that right here if it's snug. All right, now all we have to do is plug in the power supply and plug it into all the correct components. All right, now hooking up the power supply. You can already see that there are four screw holes that were there previously on the previous one, and I can just line them up. Well, first let me get my gun ready to go. All right, we're just gonna line up the holes and reuse the current drilled. get started Had to pull out, screw that down. Okay. It's really nice that you can pull out this whole setup right here and slide it in and out. So easy. Um, now, once you have, once you have it all screwed down, now you can start hooking up the power supply. Now, I, I have it completely unplugged from the wall. There's no electricity going in, so I feel comfortable plugging in the power supply into the machine right here. Then we have a few cables that will interconnect with each other right here and then right over here and finally plugged it into the motherboard. Now uh, I don't have any zip ties on me but I highly recommend getting some zip ties. You can organize the cabling so much better. I will get some zip ties in the future but just note zip ties 
are very important. Um, one thing I want to point out, you can't mess up on this, uh, but when you're plugging this into the motherboard, there is a little kind of like key gap right there. And when you go to plug it in to the motherboard, the same little gap is right here. So you can't put it on backwards. Just gotta make sure you put it in all the way and it's snugged, it's really uh, tight fit. So it won't, it can move around and I don't think you'll uh, lose the grip on that. So now we're all hooked up. We should theoretically have everything hooked up correctly. Uh, uh, since I don't have the zip ties, I'm gonna carefully slide this back in. And all we have to do now is plug it in and test it out. All right, so we have the motherboard installed and the power supply hooked up. Very simple, very easy. Um, can't really go wrong with it. But we're, now it's the moment of truth. We're gonna power it on and see if the claw machine will work. There we go. Powered on, displays on. I do not have any cash on me to test it out. Hey, on a second, guys. So we got some cash now from the money bag. Let's just see if the claw will work. We only need a buck. All right, it is completely reset. I'm gonna to have to adjust the pricing because it said uh, I got four plays, but that's okay. We don't care. We just wanted a working claw. Bam! That feels so good. I love it. I love claw machines. I love the fact that the company I ordered this from includes a warranty when you make a purchase. makes it that much better you know knowing that you're getting a claw machine that's going to be under warranty all right i just uh i guess it ends the video right here so i appreciate you guys for watching i hope this was educational and will help you possibly in the future if you have any problems if you haven't already done so guys smash that like button i really appreciate any likes we can get and comment down below your questions and maybe i can feature it in your next upcoming repair video or whatever we do and hit that subscribe button, click on the bell notification. Thank you guys, bye.